Welcome back, folks, again, and welcome to the house that never sleeps. Uh, this is going to be a kind of short video. I'm already ringing wet with sweat here. And uh, this is going to be a short video. This is that Fender Twin Reverb Amp. And you know those tubes get mighty hot in this thing, man. And uh, some of the caps, I think, in it have already been replaced. It's a very old amp. And, uh, but, you know, they get hot. And those, uh, that electrolytical fluid inside of the caps dries out over time, especially when they get as hot as these amps get. And the harder you play them, the hotter they get. But even playing them easy, they still get awful hot, the tubes do. And I've been setting a fan back here and letting it run when I, every time I play the amp. Now summer's here, so I figured y'all yeah, need to do something, man, some way to make that, keep that cool in there. Or at least keep the air circulating inside of it. And I came up with one ungodly looking thing. Look at this. I found this up in uh, the other shop. I've had it. We used to use that to cool our PA head off. And it's got a uh, potentiometer right here with an on and off switch. And I can uh, adjust how fast or slow the fan runs. Okay? It just plugs into, it's got a cord on it. Plugs into regular 110 AC. And, uh, you know, I really don't want to drill into this beautiful lamp, man, and make more holes. I could mount it out here like that and it'd be in the way. Or, you know, I thought about just laying it down in there, pointing it toward the, the side, but the speakers are in the way for that. So I think I figured out a way to do it. So let me just get you and bring you over here. Make sure everything's unplugged here. And uh, we'll get right to it. Hold on. <laughs> now these meter probes, there's an a outlet right there, an AC outlet. It just looks like a two-prong plug. I think it's two, yeah. Like the old two-prong plugs before they made us start using the three-prong ones. And these probes are too big to fit into that plug. I need to find out if that plug works because if it does, that's where I want to hook the, uh, the fan at. I have an extension cord here. And the probes I have do fit into this extension cord. So uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see the meter or not. I'm going to go ahead and turn the amp on. Tube stuff should start lighting up here shortly. I don't even know if that works at all or not. But then again, I don't know if it works just on standby or if you have to have the amp actually turned on for it to work. Crank the volume down. Let that puppy warm up. And uh, I don't think you're going to be able to see that meter. Yeah, maybe you can. Now I'm just going to stick the probes in here. Because I know they'll fit in this. And see if we have... Yeah, I think you can see the meter. Yes. I'm on the 500 volt scale. Showing 110 volts. Uh, 120, 15... Uh, I hope the meet, I hope the uh, camera's getting that meter because it does work. It is reading it, so that's perfect. And it works without it being. It works with the amp on standby. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut the amp back off and uh, unhook the power to it. Actually, so hold on for all that. Let me uh, recuperate here. <laughs> all right, here is that horrid-looking device. The airflow. I'll give you a close-up of it there. I think I made that thing years ago. Like I say, we used to set it on top of our PA head to keep the head cool. Because it worked awful hard back in my rock and roll days. Anyways, the airflow is that way. Comes up this way. Now, you know, like I said, I don't. I hate to drill, man. Like, I could drill and mount screws here and on the bottom. It would be perfect. It's a perfect fit. But then I'd have this sticking out here all the time. And I really had, this is nice. This old amp is in A1 condition, man. I mean, it is in good shape. It's not hurt. And I just hate to drill into that, you know, put screws and have a bunch of crap sticking out of it like that. So I was experimenting around with uh, setting it in here between the speakers. And just set it down in there. As far down in there as it will go. Like so. Right there's a good snug position. It's kind of, uh, I don't know if you can see that very well or not. Yeah, I think you can. It's out of the way from everything. It doesn't stick out, you know, from the ant. And I'm thinking, hoping, 
I can wind a bunch of this cord up here. It's got a really long cord on it. And all I need is really is from that outlet to the fan itself. It's the only thing I really care about. So I'm just going to wind the cord up and lay it in the bottom of the amp over there. Run it through there like so. And just lay it over in here. And I can even come up on the inside here with the plug and bring it back around here. See, I'm coming, keeping everything inside, and then plug the plug. I don't think there's a, I don't think it makes a difference which way that goes in. And you see, it's a done deal, man. If it works, <laughs> like I say, right here's the, the uh, potentiometer. I don't think the on and off switch works anymore. Maybe the, the variable speed doesn't either. I really can't remember. Too good. But uh, anywho, it's in there. I'm going to hook the amp back up now, so hold on, I'll bring you back for that. Okay, well, I just learned, as soon as I plug the amp in, this this outlet right here, that I got the fan hooked into, is not switched. And that's one of these, that's just a ground switch there. Off and on, standby. Anyways, as soon as I plug the amp in, I'll show you here, as soon as I plug the amp in, the fan starts to run. See what I mean? I mean, it's working. I can still I can turn the amp on. It doesn't make any difference there. That's not going to matter to the fan. So that's unswitched. Uh, wow, a lot of air coming up out of there. That's good. And this open vent right here will shove all that heat right out this open area right here. I may even think about taking the... No, I need to leave that on to protect the tubes. Okay, well... I'm going to let the amp warm up enough uh, and then kick it off standby onto uh, per performing mode, I guess you would call it, and see if the amp picks any electrical hum up from that. Like I said, I was setting a uh, small AC fan back here, just letting it blow in there, and it wasn't picking any hum up from that, but that fan wasn't hooked up directly into the amp like this. Man, I wish that was switched. It would work with the standby switch or the or the uh, on and off switch I could rewire it but I have to take the entire chassis out of there to do that well, that should be warm enough now flip it from standby to on and a little bit of volume well, that's a whole lot of volume and it's not it's not making a bit of hum man that doesn't matter and that doesn't matter. Okay, back to standby. It's always had that little bit of hum ever since I retubed it. Well, it did it was worse before I retubed it actually. So that works. It's just uh it doesn't work with the switch. I may in fact do that, take the chassis out and maybe have to put another switch in or tie it into a switch some way so I can turn that outlet off. I'm going to turn the amp off now and the fan will keep running as you see so I gotta unhook it and make it quit and actually I got it on a switch but it works and I'm leaving it in there for now so uh, y'all can let me know what you think about that it's, it's solid man it's nice and rock solid in there this doesn't seem to do anything anymore I was going to show you that but it don't have any effect at all. It used to slow the fan down, and right there, you turned it off. There it was on, and then you could variable speed. That don't work anymore. Yeah, I don't know why. Maybe I'll take it out and fix that someday. Right now, I just want to get the fan in the thing, because it's hot here. Hold on. <laughs> you know, probably what I'll do, rather than tear all that out there, maybe have to drill it and put a switch in it and all that. Probably what I'll do instead is fix the switch that's already on the fan. Uh... Be a lot easier to get too. I can just take lift the fan out, take it out. See, that used to work. I don't know why it's not working anymore, and it worked good. The variable speed thing is what I really like. But uh, that's what I'll do. I'll just take that out sometime later on, and uh, I'll fix it instead. And uh, that way I can turn the fan off down here, whether the amp's on or off. It's off now, and I can plug it up, and it'll it'll come on. So that's what I'll probably end up doing. 
is just uh, fixing the, the switch on the, the fan itself. If you have one of these amps, Fender Twin Reverb, they get awful hot, man. I highly recommend you put some kind of fan behind them or in them like I did or, you know, something to blow that heat to circulate some cool air in there. Cheers, folks. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps someone with a Fender Twin amp. See you next time. What are you saying? Tell our YouTube family, say, and patrons, tell them, we love you. <coughs> what? <coughs> I, think, I believe she means it. <coughs> say again. <coughs> I love you. <coughs> easy. You're easy to keep. You get too excited, baby. It's too hot to get that excited. What? What? Get up in there. Are we off?